This is Every Damn Day, and this is a clip from the Upright Citizens Brigade sketch show. Hey, where's Billy me like to eat? He likes to eat at the pump room. Great, here's what you do. Go to the bank today, get yourself $50 in pennies. Stick them all up your ass. Oh, please. One at a time, of course. You go to the pump room, buy yourself a nice dinner, paying entirely in pennies. Now, they'll be using your pennies for the next week, at least. Bellamy goes in there to eat, he gets your ass pennies for change. By the time you meet with him, you know he's had something in his hand that you've had in your ass. So? So then you got the upper hand. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. It's just like imagining someone in their underwear. No, it's not. It's horrible. Yeah, well, it works for me. You know what? I used to look up to you. I used to think you really had it together. Oh, I do have it together, little brother. You don't pull down eight figures a year without having it together. You don't have it together, Nick. You stick pennies up your ass for confidence. That's not having it together. But why are we watching a clip from the Upright Citizens Brigade, you might be wondering? I'll tell you. It's because it's the 20th anniversary of the show. It's a big week for UCB, because they're not only a sketch show, mm -hmm. they've also got this improv and sketch comedy theater. And this week in New York City is the Del Close Marathon, an improv comedy festival where you can go watch three straight days of improv. That sounds pretty cool, right, guys? Mm -hmm. uh, I love UCB. It's where I got my comedy start, um, which is oh. what I want to talk about today. Was that also where you got that shirt from? <laughs> uh. UCB? <laughs> Did I Whoa. do that? Did I just go wow. there? Did I just wow. go there about that shirt? Wow, I guess wow. you did. Well, I like this shirt. Uh, so what I want to talk about is where did all of you get your comedy start? So that's our discussion topic for today. If you had any advice to give to your younger self, someone who's starting out in comedy, what would you tell them? Oh, man. Well, I got my start at UCB as well. Okay. Um, I would say I regret not sending people emails where like they just got their first comedy job and I don't, I'm not really friends with them. <laughs> and I'm just gonna ask them, hey, you got a comedy job, can I also work there? So that's, <laughs> you're saying that that's the best way to get a comedy job? That's the best job? way to get a uh, comedy job. Cold call it's, someone uh -huh. that yep. you don't know that well. Yep, please. Hey, can you do me a big favor right now that you have this little bit of... Yep, okay. yep. Jordan, this means you're about to get a ton of emails. I know, <laughs> so people are right? not gonna read the sarcasm people on that one. Email, right? <laughs> Tasha, what advice would you give? Um, I would get, so I feel like when I started, people would always be like, oh, what's your like voice? You know, like, what's your style? And I think that's, not helpful to like guess what kind of thing you're doing, just do the thing. I found out what I like to do in my voice once I started doing stuff. I think we have a tendency to spend way too much time thinking about like, you know, what it is we want to say, just like make stuff. And then start doing it. Just do stuff, and then you'll know exactly what you're supposed to say and do. Chris, what would you say? I would say if I had to talk to my younger self, hey, relax with the carbs, Chris. You can. You can you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the comedy advice. That's the comedy advice. But Anna, what advice would you give somebody? Uh, number one, I guess, is don't be a woman. Don't be a woman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't do. I did bringer shows when I started, yes. which is you like pay. I don't do that. You have to bring five people, and it's like eighty dollars a wow. ticket, and then it's twenty horrible comedians, myself included, and my friends now never come to a show because they Cause came you, to my. You burned them all on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's good advice. So yeah, not worth true. it. I lost all my friends. Yeah. By doing comedy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have one more piece of real advice. Okay. Which is, feels counterintuitive, but this is based off of what Ryan said, like, hang out with people. Hang like, out with people. When I was first starting, I was like, I can only do shows, like, and I was just so vigilant about not hanging out with other friends and just focusing on doing shows. Mm -hmm. And then, as soon as I stopped and started like spending time with people, I realized that's where the material is. And can I say yeah. one more real thing? Sure. To, to, I agree with you. A lot of people, go live regular life. I yeah. do so much regular life stuff. Like, my friends, Chris, where are you going? You going to another show? No, I'm going to a concert. And just, not, well, who's going with you? I don't care. I have a ticket. If somebody shows up, I'll give it to them. I don't really get, do, do as much regular human stuff. Mm -hmm. Be a human, a human being. Okay. For, we're just not joking. So boxes. be a human, <laughs> hang out with funny people, make stuff, and it'll all work out. We, yeah. we promise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and if not, email Jordan Mendoza. Yeah, <laughs>
<laughs> Both John Cena and the General Sherman Sequoia have been growing at a rapid rate since 1977. <laughs> Question, is John Cena related to a honey badger? <laughs> Answer, technically, no. <laughs> but theoretically, yes. <laughs> Honey badgers are notorious for their strength, ferocity, and toughness. They have been known to savagely and fiercely attack almost any kind of animal when escape is impossible. One might say, John Cena is the honey badger of the WWE. <laughs> or that the honey badger is the John Cena of the weasel family. <laughs> Question, how many degrees separate Jackie Chan and John Cena? Answer, one. Just the sliver of air in between that undeniable chemistry. <laughs> you know what doesn't separate them? An understanding of Mandarin. Yeah, John Cena can straight up speak Mandarin like a lot. What does John Cena hate? Bandages. Sharks that steal his jewelry. <laughs> and Tony Shalhoub. <laughs> what does John Cena like? Wonka bars. Uggs and framed photos of food. <laughs> if John Cena could go back in time, what would he change? His vasectomy. In fact, he's getting it reversed so he and Nicole Bella can have a baby. Mm -hmm. Looks like John Cena's scrotum tubes are getting an attitude adjustment. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> in conclusion, who is John Cena? A multi-million dollar star? Yeah, that's what people who don't really know him say. But to the people who really know him, you and me, who's John Cena? Why, he's a honey badger like Tony Shalhoub hating Mandarin speaking Sequoia of a man who will soon be able to get you pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Who is John Cena? Yeah. Oh, hi there. This is Wonder Years. This is a game where I'm going to read some real facts about the past of our contestants, Hannah, Chris, and then our studio audience, these guys, are going to have to guess which one of them it applies to. Let's get Ooh. started. Doesn't that make us the contestants? Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> first fact. Had their first drink in sixth grade. Who do you think it was? Had their first drink in sixth grade. Ooh, we're, we're split. Correct answer, Hannah. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was obvious. Her first drink. In college, I actually waited till I was 21 to take my first drink. What a good boy. Oh, Next fact. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Had their first kiss in eighth grade. Who do we think? Had their first kiss in eighth grade. Ooh, we're split once again. Correct answer. Chris! Yeah. And Hannah, when was your first kiss? Obviously with my first drink in the sixth grade! Oh. <laughs> oh. Together! Oh, <laughs> okay, this person published a newspaper about ass cracks in elementary school and got in trouble. <laughs> We're all going with Chris, correct answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about that life, she bought that life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this person sold bootleg mixtape CDs out of their locker. <laughs> wow, wow, well, it is what it is. <laughs> Look at that bread, you know what I mean? A lot of good music hanging out there, and to, to capitalize. You know? Imagine if it was me. I know, that would be hilarious. <laughs> this person ran varsity track freshman year, but then junior varsity track sophomore year. <laughs> oh, split again, correct answer. Ooh, Two for Hannah. There you go. Okay. This person was... <laughs> I got my period, okay? <laughs> An entire year. It was, I, I was going through a lot. <laughs> this person was an undercover Limp Biscuit and Smash Mouth fan. Ooh, split again. Interesting. Your boy. Yeah. I did it all for the nookie. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> did that work out for you? <laughs> it did not. It did not. But now you're an all-star. Yeah, it's true. That is good. <laughs> okay, this person got cheated on and then threw ice cream on the person's head in retaliation. For, for the second time. <laughs> no one's surprised. Yeah, f you, Danny Laurel. F you. <laughs> I was sixth grade as well. Uh, in sixth grade. Yeah. What a year. I peaked truly in the uh, sixth grade. This person had six fake IDs growing up. Six fake IDs. Mm. A total of six. That's a lot. Ooh. 
Split, who's it gonna be? Hannah! Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. She's I'm a life. Uh, now on. this person was booed off stage the first three times they did stand up <laughs> by name. We got two for Chris, Jordan. Oh, and once again, facts. Uh, <laughs> Yo, Chris, what are you doing up there? That was literally a quote. That's literally a quote. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. This person refused to poop in a public bathroom. Or this person refuses to poop in public bathrooms. Oh, wow. Look over here. <laughs> Reveal the answer. Reveal the answer. It is both right, Mr. Oh. Wow. At the very end, wow. I, let me check the point tally uh, here. That means that Ryan wins right at the end. Ryan, you know what you win? You get to have lunch with these two. Great. You're paying for it. I mean, you don't have the money. It looks like I'm the reigning studio audience member. <laughs> I s okay, good point. I see that now. I see that now. This has been Wonder Years. So uh, this morning, uh, I saw that Ryan left out his yogurt by his laptop. I didn't. And I got a lot of shit publicly for doing that same thing. It wasn't my yogurt. It wasn't, it wasn't Ryan. I took a photo of it. Yeah, well, I didn't have any I'll yogurt. I'll post it in the comment. I don't like yogurt. Then what was the thing I saw? Someone else's yogurt. Whose? Did it's you have yogurt? Here. Jordan, yeah, do you have yeah. something to say? Nothing. You left your yogurt oh. by his laptop? Ryan, why'd you do that? <laughs> Why did I don't, with the yogurt, man? It's gross and it's a health hazard. Man, I really thought I was gonna get you good when I brought this up again. But it's... <laughs> nope, someone else Michael. left trash Michael. near my computer and here you are trying uh, to lambast me. Back on me, getting lambasted. That was every damn day.